So you're thinking about moving to Coral Springs, Florida, or maybe Fort Lauderdale, Florida and the surrounding areas. In this video, I'm going to show you around Coral Springs. I'm gonna take you to some hot spots, show you where the locals like to go. I'm also going to show you three different homes and three different neighborhoods so you can see what may fit with your budget. If you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you something about Coral Springs that you cannot find on Google. My name is Adela Phillips and, and I am a local realtor in the greater Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. So if you are thinking of moving here in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is down below in the description so we can help you move to Coral Springs, Florida, or maybe Fort Lauderdale, Florida and the surrounding areas. Let's get into it right now. We're here at Betty Stradling Park and this particular section I'm standing in right now is called All Out Skate. This park actually has a lot to offer. They do have a splash pad for children, playground, beach volleyball, basketball courts. Behind me is soccer field, football field, baseball field. It really has a lot of options for anyone and everyone. We have arrived at the Florida Panthers Ice Den. So this is actually where the Panthers practice. It is also available to the public. So if anybody wants to go ice skating or maybe practice hockey, a lot of families in the greater Fort Lauderdale area actually come here. We're at the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Hospital. Fun fact, there can be up to 80,000 worker bees per queen. This is the Wildlife Hospital. They do take orphaned or um, injured animals and they do have a specific day and time for drop off. This is the visitor center. You can get in. It's just $5 for adults, three for children. And if you are a member, it's free. They are busy at work here. The different types of animals that they have are owls, raccoons, alligators, and so much more. So this is the neighborhood here in Coral Springs. If you'll notice, these homes are single stories. They don't really have too many fences, like gated, you know, pick, white picket fence or anything like that. It is a wider street. They do have wider lots in this neighborhood. Um, and it's just very, well kept, uh, beautiful landscape, trees everywhere. When you're kind of driving along Coral Springs, you'll notice along the roadside, they'll have a lot of oak trees, uh, streets lined up with trees. It's just very picturesque when you're actually driving through these neighborhoods. So they have a lot of nice shade, but the house I'm gonna take you to is a four bedroom, four bath house, 2,900 square feet. It was built in 1974 and they are currently asking 840,000 and it's this one. If you're a dog lover, we are here at Dr. Paul's Dog Park. This is a great place to have your furry friends make new friends and roam around, get some exercise, and have a great day out in the sunshine. We're here at the community garden in Coral Springs, where if you want a little plot of yard in this wild habitat, you can rent it out on an annual basis. This is a neighborhood here in Coral Springs. If you'll notice, most of the homes are single story. They have the barrel tile roof, hurricane impact windows. So it is a bit more of an upgraded neighborhood. This area was built in the 80s. Um, I do wanna show you this particular home. It looks like they did end up doing an add-on to kind of make it like a second story. But for the most part, the actual homes here in the area are 
a single story. You don't really have large homes, but it is very nice, very well maintained. A lot of trees. Um, so if you notice all these oak wood trees, you find a lot of that here in Coral Springs kind of spread throughout. But the house I'm going to take you to, it is a three bedroom, two bath house, 1900 square feet, and they are asking 600,000. You can see how nice and neat and well maintained and wonderful these homes are in the area. So this is Cypress Park. Behind me they have the soccer fields. They also have multiple baseball fields as well as tennis courts and so much more. I wanted to bring you to Orchids Park here in Coral Springs just to show you how beautiful it is. It feels like you're taking a nature walk and it's wonderful when the orchids are blooming which can either be during the fall or spring but since we are in Florida you'd be surprised orchids tend to bloom more than you would see in any other parts of the United States but it's very gorgeous they actually have this trail you can walk around and just really see orchids blooming on some of these trees if you didn't know orchids bloom and grow in nature on trees and their actual um, fertilizer that they use is the foliage from the leaves that actually fall from the trees but I just want to show you how beautiful and picturesque this is and it's kind of hidden we're not far from Cypress Park so it's very close by We are here at Mullins Park in Coral Springs. Not only do they offer a senior center, they have the performing arts center. They also have the track and field and a baseball field and so much more for its residents. And this part of Coral Springs, it's very picturesque. The homes here are absolutely picture perfect. And you can see the trees here are gorgeous. The landscaping is beautiful. The yards are great. Now this is kind of like a smaller property. Um, the house that I'm taking you to is 1600 square feet, two bed, two bath, built in 1982. So still the community was built in the 80s and they are asking uh, 475 or actually 475,000. I'll show you in a minute. But for the most part, the homes are very similar. So that's the house right there, but right behind me. It was a perfect like starter home. Don't want too much house. This is Coral Square. This is actually the main mall here in Coral Springs where you would find JCPenney's, Kohl's, Macy's, and all the other shops, whether it's Bed Bath & Beyond, T-Mobile, uh, Old Navy, and so much more just inside. So this is it. This is what you can't find on Google. Now I am in the downtown Coral Springs area, but more specifically, I am on University Drive and they call this particular section Restaurant Row. It's known amongst the locals. It's between Atlantic Boulevard and Sample Road. And the reason I say it's Restaurant Row amongst the locals is anyone and everyone not just in coral springs but also the neighboring suburbs whether it's tamarack sunrise parkland a lot of them will travel here to this destination to go out whether it's date night family night the weekends are packed so this is actually one of the biggest hot spots here in coral springs and amongst all the other suburbs on the west side you got a friend oh hello like I'm serious. <laughs> Nature Center and wildlife. <laughs>